Hi, welcome to Android Authority. I'm Mark. Sometimes you need to share to another person whatever is displayed on your screen. For such occasions, what you need is a screenshot. Do you want to learn how to take screenshots on your Android? In this video, I'll teach you how. A screenshot is a snapshot of your phone or tablet screen. Some people make screenshots to share to friends or colleagues, while others use screenshots to take note of something important on their device's screens. Whatever your purpose for taking screen snaps, they're easy to make on Android. However, the procedure for taking screenshots may vary according to device, software version, or even ROM. There are many ways to capture screenshots on Android, but generally, it involves pressing button combinations on your device. The most widely used combo is the volume down and power button combo. This is the button combo used on most Sony, LG, and Google Nexus devices, as well as some Samsung devices. The home and power button combo is also used, as in the case of some HTC devices and some recent Samsung devices. There are also other alternate methods that don't need button combinations. Device manufacturers often add custom ways to grab screenies. The Samsung S Pen, for instance, can be used to grab screenies. I'll tell you more about such alternate methods as we go along. On most Samsung phones, including the Galaxy S2 and Galaxy S3, you can capture a screenshot by holding down the home button and power button at the same time until the screen flashes and you hear the camera shutter sound. The home and power combo also works for the Galaxy Note and Galaxy Note 2. For certain Samsung devices without a physical home button, such as the Galaxy Note 10.1 and the Galaxy Camera, the volume down and power button combo usually works. Certain recently released high-end Samsung phones support hand motions. By enabling the palm swipe to capture option, you can take screenshots just by swiping your palm over the screen like this. The Galaxy Note Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3, for example, have this feature. Even Samsung's magical S Pen for the Galaxy Note series can be used as a magic wand to catch some screenies. Just hold down the pen button and touch the screen until the screen flashes. This works even on the Galaxy Note 10.1. Speaking of Galaxy Note 10.1, this tablet has its own virtual screenshot button. Of course, the volume down and power key combo works too but those keys can be tiresome to reach on a tablet this huge, especially if you take a lot of screenies. This quick launch button here can be set to capture screenshots. Just tap it to grab a snapshot. For HTC devices such as the One X, Desire X, and Desire U, the button combo to use is still home plus power, but with a slight difference from the usual. Instead of holding down both buttons simultaneously, you hold down the power button first, then quickly tap the capacitive home button, there, screenshot captured. What about on Sony Xperia phones? For these, the button combo to use is power and volume down. Let me demonstrate it using the Xperia T. Hold down the two buttons at the same time, and there, screeny captured. This key combo works for the other Xperia phones too, such as the Xperia TX, Xperia V, and Xperia J. There's an alternate method too, through the power menu although this method doesn't seem to be present in all Xperia phones. Hold down the power button until the power dialog appears, then tap on Take Screenshot to capture the screen underneath the dialog. On most LG phones such as the Optimus G, just long press the volume down and power buttons together to take a screenshot. Another interesting way to grab a screen snapshot is by using the Quick Memo applet. You can launch it from the notification shade like this or you can press the volume up and volume down keys together. To save the screenshot, just tap the save button at the corner, or you can write or draw annotations on the screeny first before you save it. Last but not the least, the Nexus devices. Whether on the Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, Nexus 7, or Nexus 10, the method for grabbing screenshots is uniform. Press the volume down and power buttons at the same time until the screen flashes and the screenshot thumbnail flashes on the screen. Now, you know how to grab screenshots of your Android device's screen. You can share your screenshots to your colleagues. You can even edit them. After all, they are just plain images. I hope you find this video helpful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.